Hey, it's the Chief Bonnie with Board Games, and this isn't a game, it's a book. This is a book, and it's called Zones of Control, Perspectives on Wargaming, edited by Pat Hargan and Matthew J. Kirschenbaum. If you've seen the ham tag episode that just most recently came out all about games we own but have not been able to play you'll see greg schmitkins one of the ham tag co-hosts talk about and show this game or this book i wanted to i went and ordered it went and ordered it and was like i've i've got to have this book this is phenomenal i feel like this should be its own master's class all right where you can go in and this would be the textbook I'll uh, go in close just so you can get a better look at it. I'm not going to go long in this. I'll flip through, show you kind of some of the chapters, table of contents, whatever. Um, I don't know uh, if it'll get a lot of views or not, but I was uh, recently editing that ham tag episode, and I'm like, I want to put more on here. How do I do that? And I thought, you know what? Let me shoot it almost like an unboxing. Let's go take a look at this. Hello. My Edison shirt. All right, we're a little tighter in on Zones of Control, Perspectives on Wargaming. Let me uh, kind of, you can see edited by Pat, let me bring it up. Pat Harrigan and Matthew G. Kirschenbaum, forward by James F. Dunnigan. And I'm going to switch over here so you can see. Now again, I ordered this off Amazon, so you shouldn't have a problem finding it. Um, and if you want to freeze frame and go ahead and read some of that, by all means do. I'm going to flip in, um, let me come up a little higher, sorry. I'm going to come in and I'll just show you kind of the, uh, the table of contents here and give you an overview. And then we'll get out of here because you're either going to want the book or you're going to not want the book. And uh, it'll give you a feel. So again, we start off with part one, which is Paper Wars, and let me zoom in a little tighter and see if I can work around my own shadowing. All right, a little bit better. Um, I don't know if I got her all in or not there. So, but I want to flip through and just kind of show what's going on. Let me widen now, and I'll just cover. So we go into part two, which is uh, War Engines. All right, then we're going to come back. That's where you can see combat commanders in here. They're talking about Empire of the Sun, uh, the Pass of Glory. And then you come over on this side where you've got Part 3, which is Operations. Um, and then they move to Part 4, which is the Bleeding Edge. I'm not even sure what that is. Uh, we've got Part 5, Systems and Situations. And then Part 4, the War Room, Irregularities in Part, uh, or sorry, part six. Part seven is irregularities. Uh, what do we got here? The other theaters. We've got fight the future in part nine. And then that's where we go to and it breaks down. But you can see even in part nine here, we've got war, uh, mathematics, and simulations, drones, losing control of battle space, how to sell war games to the non-war gamer. I actually went in and was reading some of that now. Part of the reason um, I do ham tag and was interested in ham tag is it's really underrepresented and I could see the war game space kind of aging out. Now occasionally I will see young folks involved, um, but with the growth of board gaming I was really surprised we didn't have uh, similar growth in war gaming. But I won't talk about that too much now and then we get into the introduction. So again, go take a look. Um, Zones of Control, uh, very, very interesting packed full of information. I mean, very thin pages and just tons and tons of great, great info here. Years of reading, at least for me. Slow reader. See you guys.